please refrain from saying things like preach or go girl, bye Felicia, ratchet, or any other colloquialisms that you may have heard or looked up on Urban Dictionary. That is Regina Hall in the hit 2017 movie Girls Trip, where she starred alongside Queen Latifah, Tiffany Haddish, and Jada Pinkett Smith. Girls Trip stunned even Hall when the comedy made a staggering $140 million at the box office. It was a star-making moment for the actress, two decades in the making. She has played memorable roles in The Best Man, Scary Movie, and Think Like a Man films, and on series like Ally McBeal and last year's Nine Perfect Strangers. Now Hall is starring in a buzzed-about new movie in the same year when she co-hosted those unforgettable Academy Awards. Regina and I got together this week for a Sunday sit-down at a New York City chapel turned bar. Allow me to introduce the flavor we call candy. Yeah. Yeah. Regina Hall has spent her prolific career playing women funny. Not a memoir, damn. damn, this is some scary shit. Tenacious. I am a professional bitch. <laughs> and relatable. Girl, bye. Each role showed a different side of me. I just want to clarify some things before we, before we get started. And now another side of the 51-year-old who plays the first lady of a southern megachurch, devising her disgraced husband's redemption. Pastor Lee Curtis Child faces allegations of misconduct. In the mockumentary-style dark comedy, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. I cannot think of a cause more worthy than this right here. Huh? You know, so many people honk. Yeah? They didn't realize it was us. It was down south, and they just instinctively honked. Oh, so those are real honks? Those, those are cars real, going by. Those are real honks. Oh, wow. Thank you for the Lord. I said, let it. Yes. For the Lord. Your partner here is Sterling K. Brown. Yes, he plays my husband. Did you know him well beforehand? Because you watch the chemistry in the movie, and there's so many scenes when it's just the two of you. you got to have that. We got lucky. I had never, I did not know Sterling at all. Oh, I really? had seen him high and by, and then we met on a Zoom. And when I tell you it was instantaneous, Sterling and I both just approach these characters with deep compassion. We know the stereotypes of the, the mega church, but what are the human qualities that we really do see? They are trying. They do love God and they do love their church. So, Regina, you've spent a good amount of time in New York City, college, right. grad school. Yeah. And then I lived here in yeah. Harlem after that. Born and raised in Washington, D.C., Hall began her acting career here in New York City. I also used to practice my um, acting with my acting partners in school, like outside on the street. Yeah. So this is kind of where it started for this you. This is where it started. Only after earning a master's degree in journalism from New York University. What was it about journalism that so interests you? I was in school and I read a book. It's called Democracy in America. De Tocqueville. Yes. yes. Alexis De Tocqueville. And that, that book really resonated with me, that yes. if you do not have the press, if you do not have journalism, a free press, then you cannot maintain democracy. So how do we get from, I got a master's degree <laughs> in journalism, mm -hmm. to I'm going to be an actress? <laughs> Where did that turn come? My father passed away suddenly mm -hmm. in, my first, um, in my first trimester uh, at NYU. And I had a friend who, you know, it was like if you need to earn some extra money, you could do commercials. And that's how I was introduced to it. But my father's death, um, I was young, you know, I was, you know, 23. And so it was um, sobering and, and painful. Um, but it, it sort of redirected um, my journey. I think we have to dance. Can I dance? Yes. I'd love to. Her big break came in the 1999 ensemble film, The Best Man. With a role as a dancer, she was certain she did not land. Is the story true that you may not have been fully prepared for your audition in that you kind of just had one move that you went with? I had one move. That was it. Mm -hmm. I had a move because of the, one of the, the girls in my acting class what used to be an exotic dancer. And I said, I need to learn to dance. And she said, you don't have to know anything. That's, you have to do this one move, and that's it. And I did that, and, it, and they stopped the music. Producer said, can you do anything else? 
And I said yes. And then I just got my clothes and said thank you and I left. Oh, you walked out? Yes, I said thank you. Yeah, because I was like, well, I'm not going to get right. it. Right. Then they called and said, we really liked her, but she can't really dance. <laughs> <laughs> which said, is sort of the job, was dancing. Which was, yeah. 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 And if we, they got a choreographer and said, if the choreographer says she can do it, we, we want her. How'd you give him a say yes? I told him you look like me. <sighs> the success of The Best Man brought steady work in other generation-defining classics, including the Scary Movie franchise and the raunchy 2017 blockbuster, Girls Trip, the movie that changed her life. This dress is a mosquito net. Then maybe you'll catch something in it. Well, Girls Trip obviously made over a hundred million dollars. It was like yeah. this complete phenomenon. It was really surprising, because I, I do remember we came out the same day as um, Dunkirk. Yeah. And I was like, whose bright idea was it to go against Chris <laughs> Nolan? Who decided? I remember I was like, this is, but it was great to see it. And we can safely say mm -hmm. that there will be another. It's not there yet, but right, there's Beth. something coming, yeah. right? Yeah, it's in the oven. Paul was tapped this year to co-host the Academy Awards alongside seasoned stand-up comedians Amy Schumer and Wanda Sykes. I do remember Amy Schumer was like, can we pray? And we held hands and we said a prayer and the door went up and that was kind of it. We should have prayed harder. <laughs> <laughs> a night to remember for Hall, overshadowed by a moment no one will forget. What was it like to be there when the moment happened? When Ironically, in Regina Hall fashion, I had literally gone to my trailer. Oh. And so I had missed the commotion, to be honest. I think we were all surprised and you know, my, my, my prayers go to everyone involved in this situation because I'm sure it can't be easy. I'm just glad he laughed at my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing those laughs for her comedy and praise for her dramatic work, Paul's patience has paid off. People have a role that changes their life. I had that, but like 20 years later, it's like crazy. I mean, I still get a lot of no's, but you like... You don't get a lot of no's. I do get a lot of no's. Do they know you're Regina Hall or no? I'm, well, now that they see this <laughs> and they see you, I'm going to be like, did you see okay. this? And now that's going to change There you go. All. Play the tape. Yep, I'm yep. play the tape. Put it in. Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul is in theaters and streaming on Peacock now. Our thanks to the beautiful chapel bar inside the Photographiska Museum in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Regina Hall, including much more on those Academy Awards. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.